Hey there, fellow iPhone enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's been on the minds of many iOS users lately, the iOS 17 battery drain issue. If you've noticed your battery life taking a hit after updating, don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, we're going to walk you through some practical steps to help you fix that battery drain problem and get your iPhone back to its full power saving potential. So, let's jump right in. The first thing you'll want to do is ensure your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS. Sometimes, Apple releases updates that address performance and battery issues. To check for updates, simply go to Settings, then General, and Software Update. If there's an update available, go ahead and install it. Background apps can be a major drain on your battery. Make sure you're not leaving unnecessary apps running in the background. Head over to Settings, then Battery, and take a look at the list of apps consuming power. If you spot any apps using a lot of battery in the background, you can either close them or adjust their settings to limit background activity. Any apps using a lot of battery in the background, you can either close them or adjust their settings to limit background activity. Your iPhone's constant use of location services can significantly impact battery life. Go to Settings, then Privacy, and Location Services. Here, you can review which apps are using your location and choose to allow access only when you're using the app. This can help conserve your battery while still enjoying the benefits of location-based features. Email fetching and push notifications can contribute to battery drain as well. Consider disabling push from your email accounts. This means your iPhone won't constantly check for new emails but will instead do it at specific intervals or whatever you set. To do this, go to Settings, then Mail, Accounts, Fetch New Data. Now turn off Push or adjust the settings according to your preference. Well, there you have it. Remember, these steps should help you get back on track with your iPhone's battery life. It's all about optimizing settings and monitoring app activity. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips, troubleshooting guides, and all things iPhone. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay charged.